The new GS4 has just been released and customers are going crazy. Wesley is amazed by the news, and Wesley would like to have a GS4 also. Wow! I must have it! I'll have to check my savings to see if I have enough! Wesley rushed into his room and opened his piggy bank to count it. He does not have enough to buy the GS4. Aw oh, man! I guess I'll have to work harder to save up enough for the GS4! Wesley picks up more jobs on the weekend. Wesley runs to his room and counts his money. Wesley looks disheveled as he still cannot afford the GS4. Man, I still don't have enough to buy the GS4! Wesley gets an idea. My birthday is next month, and I can ask my mom and dad to give me the GS4 as my birthday present! Wesley falls asleep with a grin on his face. At the mall with his father and mother, Wesley's large eyes widely gander at the GS4 and instantly cry out to his father. Mom! Dad! I want the GS4! Will you get it for my birthday? Wesley's father and mother look at each other and smile. Wesley, you've already saved so much from working. Why don't you use your savings to buy the GS4? I worked hard and I still haven't saved enough. I'm very proud of you. You've worked very hard and saved. But you need to know that there is more that we can do with money than just spending and saving. Wesley looked up at his dad confused. His father asked Wesley, What do you do with your money? I saved most of it, and I spent a little of it on candy. That's really good, son, and I'm proud of you for working so hard. But you also need to make your money work hard for you by investing. Investing? What's that? I'll teach you all about investing when we get home. Besides, there's some ice cream in the freezer with our names on it. Wesley and his parents all smile and hold hands as they are seen leaving. In the last episode, Wesley wished to own the prized GS4. Unfortunately, Wesley didn't have enough to purchase it. Wesley's father is about to open his eyes to the world of investing. That in fact, Wesley too can start investing from scratch. Wesley, let me show you something. Working hard and saving your money is great, but you have to learn how to make your money work for you. How can I do that? Well, one way is to invest into the things you buy. The GS4 you want, for example. You can invest your money into the company that makes it by purchasing stock in that company. Okay, but how does that make me money? When you purchase a stock, you are investing into a company. The company will use your money to create more products. In your case, it would be making more GS4s. The more GS4s that are sold, the more the company makes. The more money the company makes, the more money the stock will be worth. Oh wow! So I can invest money into the company that makes the GS4 and make money if the company sells a lot. Yes, you can make money. Heck, it's better than buying the GS4 because that's a guaranteed loss. Guaranteed loss? How? Today, the GS4 costs $400. Next year, it will be $300 and $200 the year after that. This will happen because the GS5, GS6, and GS7 will be released in the following years. People will want the new systems and lose interest in the GS4. Oh, okay. It's a loss because it will lose value over time. Correct. But a stock can actually make money over time. I'm going to be rich. 
But how do I get the money? Take half of what you save and set it aside until you have enough to invest. Okay, but why not invest all of it? Well, what would happen if you need to buy something? You might need the money right away and then can't get to it. Okay, so who makes my favorite cereal crunch stars? My shoes, my clothes, and your car, Dad? <laughs> Calm down, Wesley. How about you do the research and tell me? Dad, I saved $400, and I want to invest $200. Wow, Wesley, that's great, son. I'm proud of you. I'm going to match your $200 to make $400, and we'll invest together. Okay, I even know which companies I want to invest in. How do you know that? I researched all my favorite brands, and I noticed which stores were always packed at the mall. <laughs> Wesley, that's awesome. Let's start investing. Wesley, where are you? In the last episode, Wesley learned what investing was, ways to save money to invest, and stocks to pick. Unfortunately, Wesley didn't know how to get started. Little did he know that his father would join him, and they both would enter the world of investing together from scratch. Wesley, I'm setting up a custodial account for us. Okay, what is that? Well, this allows me to open an account for you, but I would be in charge of it. Let's pick your top four favorite companies to invest in. Which ones do you want to pick? Um, let's see. I want to groany because they make the GS4 game. Flight, uh, because they're my favorite shoe brand. Pearl, because I like their computers and BAMs, because I like their clothes. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> okay, Wesley, that's very interesting. Let's start with those companies and see how it goes. This is your account, and we can add a little more every month. We have to buy more and more stock every month. Not really, but you have three places you need to place your money. Spending, savings, and investing. You don't have to buy more every month, but you should be putting money aside every month to invest. Oh, okay. Wesley, come downstairs. Coming, Mom. Wesley, I'm so proud of how you learned and started investing. We decided to get you something. Ta-da! Thank you, Mom and Dad. Wesley, one of the biggest things to keep in mind is we didn't mind buying you the GSC now because we are part owners of your company. Here, this is for you. What is this? It's a dividend check. Dividend check? What is that? Remember those companies we started investing? Well, when those companies make money, they pay some of the profits to shareholders like you. Wow! Dad, this is awesome! Yes, son. But not all companies pay dividends. I'm so proud of you, because I didn't learn this stuff until I was a young man. But you are only five years old, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I think the very first thing we need to do is come up with a name. I have one. No, I have one. Mine is better. No, I think mine is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everybody calm down and let's just do one at a time. Since it was my idea, I think the name should be your idea. I was already selling my toys online before I met you. So? But it was my dad's idea to turn it into a business. Oh my goodness. Wesley, knock it off. Alan, you too. <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> relax, relax, relax. It's not that serious. But listen up, guys. You guys are partners. You have to work together. It's not about who does what. It's all about teamwork. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, no more arguing. Now, let's come up with a name. What about... Hmm... Cars. Come on, you have to be more creative than that. What about cool cars? What about kid cool toys? Uh-huh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good, Mom. I, you know, that does sound nice. Okay, kid cool toys it is. Yeah, all right. Great. Oh, that's just splendid. Okay, next week, we need to meet with the lawyers to make it office. So, how can I help you guys? My son Wesley here and his friend Alan here want to start a business. Start a business? I mean, you guys be playing with toys and going to school. We still play with toys. I think it could be better fun and educational for them to learn a little about business. Okay, but they are too young. <laughs> But you guys can start the company with your names and sign Wesley and Alan as minions. I mean minors. <laughs> okay, but I would rather let this be the guy's venture with Wesley, Alan, and Wesley's dad. Yeah, all right. Calm down, boys, calm down. Okay, let's get it started. All right, I need you to fill out these papers. And good luck. Alan, pass me the TX5 so I can grab a picture for our website. This one will really well. Well, I don't know was check out this BX7. This one is really sweet. This one definitely needs to be on the site. Okay, let's grab a picture. Oh my goodness. Wesley, what have you done with your room? Where did all these toys come from? Um... These are Alan and my toys. What are they all doing in your room? Mr. Dykes told me to bring them over to take pictures for our website. Yes, Dad said... What website? Our business. Mom, how much did you pay for these cars? Oh my goodness. Twenty or thirty dollars? Your dad in this business again. I'm glad you could make. Yeah, finally got a day off work with the kids in school. That is good. My husband and Wesley are driving me crazy. Especially with this whole business thing. <laughs> it's so cute to see those two. Yes, but what does your husband think of all this? Oh no, I got divorced years ago. I haven't seen Al and Dad in years. And I'd rather keep it that way. Oh, I'm sorry, and didn't know that. Wesley loves his dad, but I think they should be kids and not worrying about a business. I think it's all fun. And it's nice for Alan to have a father figure. Mr. Dykes being a veteran and having a successful firm? Yes, but I want Wesley to be his own person. But I know he will need to learn a lot about finances. 
Dad, we have a little issue. What is that? What should be the price of the toys? I was thinking $20. I was thinking $30. Wait, wait, wait. How much do our other people selling them for? Um, $10. Okay, and why are you selling yours for $20 or $30? Um, that's what my mom said she bought my cars for. Okay, that was the brand new off the shelves price. But Dad, what is the difference? Tell you what, both of you grab one of your toys and let's take a trip to the mall. Okay, Wesley, now look. The XL5 car that you are holding is brand new off the shelf for $20 here. Why would someone buy your used car offline for $20? Because it's the same thing. My car is the exact same car on the shelf for $20. Right? Wesley, but remember in episode 2 when we talked about appreciation versus depreciation? Oh yeah, when the value of something goes up and down. Uh, I don't get it. Okay, look, this brand new XL5 today is $20. If I buy it today and try to sell it next year, how much will it be worth? I don't know. Less than $20 because the value has dropped. Because now your toy is a year old. The XL6 has come out, so the demand for the XL5 has dropped. Oh, okay, I see now. Because the people will want the next toy over my old toy. Yes, and that is called depreciation. Also look online and see what prices others are selling them the same toy online. Okay, I'm learning something new every episode. Now we know how to set prices. <laughs>